Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. I am going to do a January 2023 favorites. Um, so I have a few different categories. I have some skincare, some hair care, beauty, snacks, some books I finished and really enjoy, and the shoes I was really enjoying to wear the month of January. Starting off, I just began using an eye cream. Um, so this is this was based on some recommendations that I saw online. This is Lumiere Firm Illuminating and Tightening Eye Cream by Neo Cutis. Um, so I really do see a difference when I put this on at night and in the morning, I feel like around my eyes, it just feels more plump, more hydrated. I have some fine lines and I do feel like um, they're a little bit more uh, diminished after wearing this. So I really enjoy this one, Lumiere. I also began using a vitamin C serum. Um, so again, I'm kind of on a skincare kick trying to reverse some of the damage I did as a teenager laying out in the sun tanning. Um, so I wanna, I started incorporating a vitamin C serum and this is SkinCeuticals CE for like combination antioxidant containing 15% L-ascorbic acid, 1% alpha tocopherol and 0.5% ferulic acid. So this is what the bottle looks like. So this is my first step after cleansing my skin in the morning with a gentle cleanser. Put a couple of drops on this, um, on my face, and then I let that dry, moisturizer, and then some really light makeup for the day. And I've really been enjoying this. Again, I feel um, really hydrated with this. Um, it doesn't really pill underneath any uh, makeup and just feel like a vitamin C serum after learning more about it. I think it's important to incorporate it into your skincare daily routine. For um, weekly routine, I began using these Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel by Dr. Dennis Gross. And it's a patented two-step peel with five AHA and BHAs. Um, so I am new to using beta hydroxy acids and alpha hydroxy acids, but I do find, I was finding that my skin was getting um, a little bit clogged. I wear a mask all day at work and I sweat a little bit. Um, so I felt like I needed something to kind of clear out my pores and this does also help diminish fine lines. So I started using this. I'm just using it once a week now. It's a two-step kind of wipe system. Um, I'm using it once a week because I don't want to throw myself in too, too hard and then start getting irritated skin, but I'm really enjoying this. I do feel like my skin is softer smoothing after using this one. For hair care, I was using this a couple of years ago and I don't remember why I stopped, but I began using again the Kerastase L'Encreable blow dry um, and it is kind of a primer before blow drying your hair. I put this on slightly damp hair and then I blow dry it and I do feel like it helps tame my frizz and it also helps the um, blow dry kind of get done a little bit quicker and it smells really good. So I really like that one. For my shampoo, I am using the L'Oreal Volumetry Salicylic Acid Shampoo. And this, I feel like sometimes I'm um, in a rush after work, so I um, shower and go to sleep. And sometimes I got fall asleep with my hair a little bit damp. And after that, I can get a little bit of dandruff. Um, and the salicylic acid in this really helps keep that at bay. It also smells really good and my hair feels really clean after using this. So I recommend this shampoo. For clips on the weekend, I like to have my hair down. Um, sometimes during eating, I wanna keep my hair out of my face or just if you are in the mood for a cute clip, I purchased this one from the online store MEJ. You know, it's pretty popular right now. Um, Hailey Bieber uh, loves their clips. Um, but besides it being really cute, I really like the quality of it. I know it's a little bit pricier, but you're definitely paying. Oops. <laughs> you're definitely paying for the quality. I have fine hair, but I feel like I have a little bit more of it. And it does a really good job at holding that really secure. So definitely recommend the MEJ clips. For perfume, I have been using the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. I feel like this is a really great everyday perfume. Um, it smells really fresh. I actually got this as a secret Santa. One of the really sweet girls at work got me and gifted me a, came, it was a gift box that came this, the hand cream and a travel size perfume version of it. And this smells really good. I know a lot of people enjoy this one for the summer and spring months, but I recommend it all year long. I really enjoy the smell of this. For beauty, my makeup has been pretty much the same, but I did kind of treated myself a little bit and bought this Dior lipstick. It is from their Dior Addict, Dior Riviera line, and it is the 661 shade. 
Um, so this is more of a balmy lipstick, moisture. I was looking for something moisturizing right now for the winter months. Um, so it looks a little bright, but I just put a few, a little bit. I feel like it's a nice everyday color. Um, and again, it's really moisturizing. So I've really been enjoying that lipstick. For food, um, kind of a creature of habit. Once I find something that I like, um, I kind of keep doing the same thing. And I have found these Hillshire snacking um, plates. And it includes a meat, a cheese, and a toasted round. So for those of you that are fans of charcuterie boards, these are kind of on-the-go mini charcuterie boards. I've been doing this for lunch. My husband, my sweet husband, has been packing these for me for my lunches. And they have different varieties of the meats, but I really like this um, hot calabrese salami one. I'm a big fan of spicy food. So I've been really enjoying this. It comes, um, one pack is 310 calories, 16 grams of protein, uh, 21 grams of fat, a little bit higher on the fat, but again, I eat this and I'm good to go until the evening time. It's so really been enjoying these. And then we found a new dessert, dessert that we've been really liking. It's the Tillamook, um, Tillamook cookies and this specific flavor, the Oregon strawberry waffle cone ice cream sandwich is really good. The ice cream inside it's so good. Um, there's a little layer of chocolate and then they're not super big. They're 200 calories, but it's not super big, but it's still, they're really filling and they really satisfy that sweet tooth in it. So these have been really good. For books, I finally finished Why We Sleep, Unlocking the Power of Sleep and Dreams by Matthew Walker, PhD. So I'm really fascinated by sleep and this book kind of goes into certain studies um, that research different aspects of sleep and how improving your sleep. So I've really enjoyed this book. Um, even if you don't have a large or extensive science background, I feel like this book is really manageable. He really breaks things down, the findings of these studies um, and kind of approachable ways. And I really do recommend this book if you're looking to improve your sleep or just want to learn more about um, how important sleep really is. For the other book, I actually did um, listen to it. I did an audiobook in Audible and that was 4,000 Weeks Time Management for the Mortal by Oliver Berkman. And that book I really enjoyed. Um, so kind of listening to the title, you would think it's kind of a time productivity um, book, but it's not. It focuses on how the concept of time relates to your life and how the average amount of weeks that we have on this earth is 4,000 weeks for the average human. So when you kind of listen to that number, it's like, whoa, it really is not that long. Um, so it really kind of touches on aspects of focusing on the real things that actually matter and how you really want to spend your time while you're on this earth. So I really do recommend that book for not only, I feel like it really resonated right now at my age and 30. Um, so it's kind of um, a good reminder of focusing on things that actually matter in life. But I think anybody any age would really benefit from that book. And finally, I've been actually using these shoes for the last few months, but um, January, I really started to appreciate them. So I decided to buy a second pair um, so I don't wear those out, but it's the New Balance Energize uh, tennis shoe. So they're very cute. They're, especially for us girls out there, I know we sometimes want a little dainty tennis shoe, but more than anything, they're cute, but they're actually really comfortable. I feel like I stand pretty long hours and um, I'm in the healthcare field. So um, for those of them, they look really cute with scrubs. So I do recommend these shoes. These are the energized by New Balance. All right, guys, that was everything for my January favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed those things and um, will enjoy or try some of these things out. I hope February is a great month for you and thank you for joining me today.